try Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's no doubt in my mind Baby Okay guys, we got another vlog today. I'm headed to the airport, the car just got here, and I'm headed to London, England today, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going with Rimmel London to a couple events, so I'll take you along with me, and I have some cute outfits to show you, some makeup, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. I'm just skipping the intro. We're just gonna get right into it vlog style, so let's go. And here's a look at my comfy travel outfit. I love this cute and cozy fall outfit. It's just something you can throw on, but you'll still look very put together. So my sweater dress, cute olive jacket, and scarf are all from Lulu's. I'll have links down below to every outfit that you'll see in the video. But here's just a quick look at it. Here I am driving to the airport, and once I got on the flight, I'm listening to some of my favorite new songs. Let me know what your favorite song is in the comments. And here we are in London. So it's like nine hours since I left Toronto and I'm finally here in London. Of course, we got the um, red telephone booth and I'm just kind of touring around and I look kind of dead because it's like 4 a.m. for me right now. But uh, let's get some coffee. <laughs> Here I am outside of the British Museum and I was trying to film an outfit of the day by myself and people kept asking if I need my photo taken and I was like, nah, I'm doing a video. It was pretty awkward. No, it's okay. I'm doing like a video. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm taking a video. It's all good. But yeah, so I am just filming my outfit of the day. I'm wearing some Alex and Ani bracelets. My boots are shop rouge and then everything else, as I mentioned, is from Lulu's. And behind me is the British Museum, which is a collection of art and artifacts. So you should definitely check it out if you ever get a chance to. Beautiful museum. And then after my little detour, I went back to the hotel. going to get ready for dinner and I'll show you that outfit but I really love this one for traveling I love this like light jacket and it basically feels like I'm wearing blankets so I feel like this is a pretty good choice I'm all ready I just switched up my look for dinner and I have more energy now once I start doing my makeup I feel a lot better so for my makeup I just added some deeper kind of caramely like shadows all the way up to my brow bone and then I just added more mascara skip in the falsies and then I have this kind of deep nude lip and for my hair I always do this when I travel I'll have it in like loose waves and then I'll brush it out and just add like a product to kind of like revive it and then I'm ready to go. My um, outfit is really cute and inexpensive. My top is from Forever 21 and then my belt is, I don't know where it's from, but I will try to have that linked in the down bar. And then my skirt is Brandy Melville and boots are from Choey's as well as my jacket, which I got a while ago, but I think it really completes like a British feeling look and let's go to dinner. dinner it was so good it was like a three-hour dinner we had lots of courses it was amazing and now I think I'm going to um, sorry <laughs> had a lot of wine oh but um, yeah so now I'm going to go to bed I'm gonna have a nice shower I have my little um, bathrobe on right now and I'm gonna watch wild child in bed and have a tea so that's that's how I'm celebrating the British place <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow When the head girl has earned my respect, then I'll shake her hand, Bianch. Sorry. Apology accepted. Hey, hey, today's the exciting day in London, England when I'm meeting Cara Delevingne with Rimmel London. Rimmel sent me out here to go to a group interview with Cara, take a picture, and then just hang out with the makeup artist. And then we're going to a cocktail party later also to celebrate. So I'm very excited about it. I have um, a couple different looks to show you that I'll be wearing. So right now I just have my raincoat on from Forever 21 and I haven't done my hair yet. I'm going to head out to the shops right now just outside the hotel and get some dry shampoo because my hair is gross. So I'm gonna do that and then finish getting ready. 
None of the shops were open, but I managed to get a free tea because my card didn't work and the girl was like, it's cold out, take the tea. And I was like, but no, and she was like, take it. So I did, so I'm having um, a free tea and that girl will have good karma for giving it to me. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready and have my tea. <laughs> Magnifies, magnifies, yeah, I'm saying it right, shadows from Rimmel. On top of it, I added the Scandalized Reloaded Mascara. Looks great without um, any lashes, which I was wearing in the previous shots, but I get a picture with Cara, so I wanted to be glam. And then for lips, I went in with one of my favorite lipsticks now. This is by Rimmel, and it is 610 High Flyer. It's matte, it has a really nice smell, and you don't even need like a lip liner, like I just used the kind of rounded shape and overlined my upper lip and I really like the look of it so hopefully you like this look and now on to my outfit I'm wearing this fitted black scoop neck top from Garage and then I added dainty little pearl earrings and by the way my headband is just from Claire's This adorable skirt is from Abercrombie & Fitch from way back in the day, so it's not available anymore, but I'll try to have a similar link down below to a plaid skirt. And this super cool jacket is from Zara. I just got it in stores, so still available, and this whole look is super fun and put together. And my red handbag with gold bug detailing, looks a bit weird, but I think it really completes the look, is also from Zara. And then I'm just wearing high black over-the-knee socks, and I'm wearing the same boots that I wore yesterday. Off we go to meet Kara! Oh! Kirsten was also showing us some fall makeup trends, so we have a deep smoky eye and then some defined lashes and a deep berry lip. I love their looks, these are two gorgeous models. And then just behind the scenes, I was getting my nails done, having a lot of fun before I went in and did a little group interview with Kara. <laughs> Look who I'm with! What up? Hey! <laughs> the most scandalous eyes, do you prefer the look of classic wing liner or smoky eyes with deep shadows to complement bold lashes? I think it depends on what you're wearing mm -hmm. and how you're feeling that day, um, but I always love like a cat eye, fits cat eye. Yeah. Sure. You're admired for embracing quirks and your laid back attitude. What is the best advice you could give to young girls caught up in looking perfect? The imperfections are perfections in a way that, you know, to embrace those cracks and flaws and those things are the things that makes us different and, and special and our own way and everyone is beautiful. In the commercial for Scandalize Reloaded, you sport a studded black leather jacket and then this like shiny long trench coat. Mm -hmm. Which one's more your style? Like if you had to pick one of them to take home? Probably the studded. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, you don't want to hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Rimmel London spokesmodel that you looked up to growing up? Definitely Kate. I think, you know, growing up watching her do the Rimmel ads, for mm -hmm. sure, it was, you know, that's why it was such a dream for me to um, work with Rimmel, because I was just like, to be on that panel roster is really incredible. Yeah. If you're out and about on a rainy day, what is your go-to hairstyle? Um, wet. <laughs> <laughs> just let it down. <laughs> just let like, uh, the umbrella down and just, you know, yeah, let the rain come. <laughs> I just finished interviewing Kara and it went really well. She's very lovely and very like just chill, like down to earth. And now I am going to uh, go shopping a little bit because I didn't work because the stores weren't open. So I'm going to Box Park, I think it's called. I still, I still forget. Um, and then it's time for the cocktail party.
really fun glittery dress on. I did this like half up, half down like side view. And I have a tutorial of a similar look um, down below. This was my like makeshift version because I have like 10 minutes to get ready and we're sleeping with makeup the same. Let's go. To the party we go. On my way back from the cocktail party, I got this amazing bubble waffle and in my room was this top secret set of cookies and they're hand iced. How cute are they? You bet I ate them on my way back home to Canada the next morning. up my trip to London, England with Rimmel London, Canada. Thank you so much to Rimmel for taking me on this amazing trip and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'd love to know in the comments which outfit that I wore is your favorite. Also, I did want to mention that the Magnify's shadow as well as the only one matte lipstick are not quite available in Canadian stores yet but keep an eye out for them because they're awesome products but you can check out the Scandal Eyes Reloaded Mascara which is super cool and Cara is the new spokes bottle so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again. I love doing these little travel vlogs and if you have any requests for me, you can let me know in the comments. I definitely will do a Cara Delevingne inspired makeup tutorial as well. And thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials. And I'll see you in my next video.